search everywhere. Captain Brennan thinks the Counselor's kitten might try to escape through these tunnels. Damn! Those cat bastards are harder to shape. This looks promising. Let's give it a try. That must be the way out. I just hope there aren't any red runs up there. that ruins everything. I'm so close to finding my brother and he shows up to drag me back home. Well, I'm not going back without a fight. You, you do that for me. Thanks, I guess. But what can you possibly do against all those soldiers? My father brought the whole damn army with him this time. Clever. Tell my father whatever he wants to hear. That might actually work. Afterward, meet me at the Ashlander camp to the south. My brother would often visit that particular tribe. It's as good a place as any to start. Once I find Oran and make sure he's all right, I'll meet with my father. But that meeting will be on my terms, not his. And tell him to call off his soldiers, or I might change my mind. That should buy us some time. Oh, who goes there? Stand down. These outlanders work for me. The captain reported that he had seen you in the area. There are also multiple reports that Vea has been spotted. Tell me, have you seen my daughter? I won't sleep well until she's home, safe and sound. I also said that the captain has his own resources. The War Claws report to Briven, not me. Look, we're all just trying to get my daughter home safely. Now, tell me what Vea's thinking. It was a gamble, I admit. An opportunity I couldn't let slip away. You won't make me feel guilty about trying to find my daughter. So. Where and when will they meet with me? Very well. We'll do this her way. Rhea can be as stubborn as her mother sometimes. But tell my daughter that my patience won't last forever. Next time, I expect Vea to be with you. Or I might just let Captain Briven do this his way. Do as I command, and let them pass. Ashlanders, not with those tales. This is disturbing. I can't believe this. Why allow the war claws to run roughshod over the camp like this? What's House Ridderin thinking? And what in the name of the three have they done with the Ashlanders? My brother often visited this camp. Took me along a couple of times. It used to be such a vibrant place, so full of life. 
I know House Redran wants to expand along the western coast, but I never expected they'd set the war claws loose like this. If Ulran was here, he'd never stand for the war claws invading the camp. He told me the Ashlanders were the same as you and I. Different beliefs don't necessarily make people bad. We need to see if we can find out what happened here. I really want to help, but Nariu won't hear of it. We don't get our hands dirty unless there's a writ attached. She's so fond of reminding me. We'll hang around and wait for you to find something before we move in. Bea, I don't think this is a good idea. We're trying to keep you out of House Redwin hands, remember? You're not my parent, Nariu. I can take care of myself, even if the Mother of Blades doesn't think so. Damn it, Veya! You know I hate that title. If I'd realized how popular this camp was going to be with Outlanders, I would have moved the tribe ages ago. You don't appear to be one of the heretical invaders, but looks can be deceiving. What do you seek, stranger? Ah, Ulran the Exile. He disgraced his family and lost his status, but remained true to his heart. Ulran is here. He tried to stand against the Redorans, just as they detained me within this yurt. I assume they dragged him off to the mine, along with most of the tribe who refused to let those tribunal dogs walk all over us. Or should I say tribunal cats in this instance? Be wary. The mine will be as protected as the camp, maybe even more so. It's a small hole in the ground, but it served us well until the Redorans and their war claws arrived. Now they toss my people aside and lock the door. Warclaw Irgazar carries the key, but there is a spare in the supply yurt. Get the key to the mine from either the Warclaw's commander or the supply yurt, whichever suits your needs. Perhaps you'll find which you seek within Kudanot's depths. To keep the head and the body separate, as long as I'm here, I can't offer my people hope or advice. And I certainly can't compel them to rebel against these invaders. I have no doubt. However, my place remains with my people, at least for now. The War Claws have treated me well so far. They believe I can make their tails fall off if I so choose. Who am I to dissuade such creatures from their beliefs?
Intruders! War Cross, attack! The captain called them traitors and savages. Said they got roasting Down much here. more than they Come deserve. On. Wait. What's that smell? Vea, stay back. You don't need to see this. What happened here? Oh, gods. They murdered these poor Ashlanders. Oh, no. Oran. Oran. Ah. We can't. Please. You can't be dead. You just can't. Bea shouldn't have had to see this. Even I'm finding it hard to believe that the mercenaries would slaughter these Ashlanders for no reason. Not to mention the son of a house counselor. It doesn't make any sense. I suppose anything could happen in the heat of the moment. But to kill a Redron, even an exiled one, that's presumptuous even for the War Claws. I wonder if Eris knows about this. I'm not sure how Vea's going to get her answers now. I've seen these before. They use them in Eastmarch to record and send important messages. They're expensive and as rare as a sober Nord, but Auron was always attracted to the contrivances of other cultures. Shall we see what it has to say? If you're listening to my voice, know that my time is short and what I have to say is important. Brother. Is that you? Everything that happened was a deliberate act to discredit me. I need to report the event so my sister can learn the truth about her brother. You have to understand, I don't share my house's hatred and distrust of Ashlanders. So, during my normal patrol, when I heard that Ashlanders had come to Balmera and were causing trouble, I was dubious to say the least. I arrived to find one of my soldiers arguing with the Ashlanders. He spat at them, called them savages. When one of the Ashlanders objected, my soldier drew his sword. Before I could intervene, my soldier's blade struck him down. I ordered the soldier to stand down, but he ignored me and stepped toward the second Ashlander. I killed my own soldier. I had to. Before I knew it, I was dragged before the Redoran Council and exiled. I never even got to say farewell to my sister. I believe I was set up for this fall, but I don't know by who. I came to this camp for shelter, but House Redoran's reach grows ever longer. Now Captain Brivens here. I'm going to talk to them, just in case I made this stone for my sister Vea. All run! Damn it! What am I supposed to do now? Oren's not supposed to be dead. That wasn't the way this was supposed to end. What am I gonna do now? Damn Oren for leaving me that damn message! And damn him for dying on me! Gods, I miss my brother. I still don't understand. Oran said someone set him up to fall. Who would do such a thing? And why would they do it? Oran never wanted to hurt anyone. So that's why they exiled him? That's why they killed him? He was too damn good? That's the problem? We've got to find out who did all this. They won't get away with this. I won't allow it. Oh, I'll find them all right. And when I do, they'll pay for what happened to Oran. I swear by Mafala's sacred web and the first blood my blade ever tasted, I'm going to avenge my brother. I agree with Ulran's assessment. 
Certainly sounds like someone led him into a situation guaranteed to make him fail. I can't believe he put this burden on Vea, though. What was Ulran thinking? I didn't say that. Just not sure how to proceed. We're entering dangerous waters here, going up against House Redrin. And we don't even have a writ to protect us. I'm going to take Vea and head back to our safe house in Balmora. They found our cave, but the abandoned basement is still secure. After that, I'm not sure. The Morog Tong has rules. If I break them, I'll have to deal with the consequences. We can't just kill with wild abandon. We follow a code. We only execute those whose names appear on sanctioned writs. If we kill respectable citizens without a writ, it's just murder. So, without proof and a proper writ, my hands are tied. You do that, but be careful. We're not sure who in the House Redrin is involved, and I'd rather not see you wind up like these poor Ashlanders. Bea and I still need your help to get to the bottom of all of this. We'll see you in Balmora, hero.